I'm back to binge -wa gaming. Hi. Hi, it's Renee. And my sweet zombie. Let's get into it so we can get to the end of this game someday. I like the game, it's just sometimes I feel an intense need to get a game done because it feels unfinished. And I, it's been so long, I've been playing this game since March. It's now 18th of April. Soon, he walks in looking nervous. Liam! Mm. Sam, Sam, I'm so huh. so... No, wait, let me talk first. Um, okay? I'm sorry. Huh? huh? <sighs> what you said before, you were right. <clears throat> I do stress myself out by putting others for my own needs. Well, I just don't think I wanted to admit that as I thought that was the natural thing to do so I got defensive when you said it was wrong of me to do Ugh. so. Ugh. But you were right because I was so afraid to disappoint other people I ended up hurting myself in the process and instead of taking what you said and reflecting on it I got de defensive and hurt you. Um. So I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Ah. Yeah, I forgive you, and I'm sorry for saying what I did. I probably could have been more elegant on how I went about it. <laughs> That's true. Oi. Oi. Um... It's just Sam. I've been in your shoes before. Pushing yourself to do stuff you don't want to just to satisfy others. Uh... You just can't make everyone happy. Especially not at the expense of your own happiness. Yeah. And that's all. I just wanted to make sure you were happy. Yeah. Thanks, Liam. I really appreciate that. Though I wonder what experience Liam was talking about as well. <laughs> I'm glad that's settled then. Oh. oh, there's one more thing. Huh? Huh? I take out the, my plate of peanut butter bars and hold it out to Liam. <laughs> I made this for you as an apology gift and a thank you for everything you've done uh -huh. for me. Y you made these? Like, with your own two hands? <laughs> How else would I have done them? Am I supposed to do them with my feet? Mm. Oh, adios, Mia. This is the happiest day of my life. Oh, cute. He can be so cute yet silly. Oh, pretend I didn't know, hear what he said for his own sake. He takes the play from my hands. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. I'll be sure to enjoy these. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, help! The printer for the receipts is jammed. <sighs> Actually, Jane, I can't. I haven't taken my lunch yet, and I was going to take it now that Leah, since Liam oh. is here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize um, that. But what should I do about mm. the printer? Also, you show you how to <sighs> fix it. Ugh. Mm. Don't make that face. I'm only trying to help you here. And you better listen to what I, when I teach you because I'm not like Sam and baby you. <sighs> Fine. Since I don't want to bother Sam on a break. <sighs> See you, Sam. Enjoy your break. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Sam. Is that peanut butter bars? Oh my gosh, they smell delicious. Oh. Let me have one. Mm. No way, hands off. <laughs> Sam made these from me. All right, time to rest. Ah, uh, I'm back. Hmm. Welcome back. So, how did it go? <laughs> I took all my lunches and breaks today. And I was able to say no when someone asked me. I'm very proud. Huh? Sam, I'm very proud. How old are you to sound proud of the fact that you said no, no to someone? We are very proud. Crystal, Crystal. Don't you dare bring her down for this. It's a good thing. It's a it's process. Progress. Ugh. Hey, this is a big achievement for me. You could praise me at least. <laughs> praise her. Hmm. Bend down. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I a dog? <laughs> I bent down and Crystal places her hand on my head. <laughs> God, um. you did great today. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> pat, 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 pat. <laughs> she then pats my head. <laughs> Thank you. She takes her hand from my head and I straighten up. <laughs> How about we start a lunch mm. together? Sounds good. 
Crystal and I then head for the kitchen. I didn't Crystal only I didn't tell Crystal or Liam, but after realizing my dependency on others approval of me, I feel as if a large burden has been taken off my shoulders. And I realize I have some great friends like them who help me with that. Dedication. Dead Ecation, I guess. It's chapter five. A couple of days have passed since I decided to be more assertive on telling others no. Although my manager and co-workers have been surprised when I refused to help them enough times, none of them really started thinking less of me for it. Some of them even praised me for finally growing a backbone. Which I'm not sure how I feel about that. Ah, good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Sam. Been busy? Not really. Kind of slow. Oh, I have to show you the picture I took at the costume store. It was absolutely cute. I'm gonna wear, I'm going to wear this for the Halloween. <laughs> really? I can't wait to see. Um, because of that, I was now having more fun at work. Even my co-workers noticed my change, and I guess it made me more approachable since some of them had been starting to, starting more conversations with me. It's amazing how much has changed in this in such a short amount of time. My home life, my work, and my relationships with others. Huh. Alright, I'm heading off. I'll see you when I get back, Crystal. Um. Yeah, okay. Is something wrong? <clears throat> mm, ah, no, mm, not really. You don't sound very convincing. <laughs> Remember, we promised to tell each other when something's wrong. But I also won't force you to um. tell me. I'm. There's something on my mind. <laughs> However, I don't think I'm ready to speak about it yet. That's fine then. Whenever you're ready, just talk to me. Okay? I will. Have a good work day at work uh -huh. then. Thanks. Take care of the house till I get back. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Then I head out, for, out of the door for work. I was so I would totally recommend you playing it. I can bring you a copy for work tomorrow. Jane and I have been conversing more recently, mostly about games called visual novels. <laughs> it's a refreshing change from a usual you know, calling me to fix the expression machine all the time. I don't know, Jane, so this game called Magical Academy Love Life is something called a visual novel, but it's basically like reading one. Why not just read a normal book then? <laughs> because visual novels are better. Come on, Sam, give it a try. It's like a comic. I mean, Sam, you're the main character of a visual novel. And your n visual novel doesn't even have that many choices. Okay, it does have choices. D d they don't feel... Oh, they do feel like they matter. I don't know how much they do matter though. Because this is the only playthrough I've made of this. Come on, Sam, give it a try. <laughs> well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Yay! Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I think you'll like it. Playing Atom games is a nice way to cope with being single. Oh? Really? Um, no, hmm. I guess that's not a problem for you since you and Liam are kind of dating. <gasps> We're not dating. Eh? Really? But you to obviously like each other oh. and then but um, then I kind of feel bad for Liam he basically had a crush on you for like two huh? years he what? Um. I mean it was kind of obvious to everyone here but you like he would greet you first whenever he came to work and he would constantly try to sneak glances at you when he to you if you were working <sighs> not to mention he would always be the first to rush to you when you needed help mm -hmm. Well, I guess he's trying to be more forward about it since you two have gotten closer recently. I mean, crush or not, you're not required to return his feelings, but do you like him? I may. <laughs> so then are you gonna ask him out? No, we don't have time to talk about this, we should get back to work. <laughs> Darn. Jane walks off to head back to her station. As she does, Liam stands towards me. Seeing him approach me, Jane then stops to yell something at us. <laughs> Have fun with Liam, Sam. <laughs> she then skips off after saying those words. To my mortification. Huh? 
Uh, what was that about? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Um... Okay, how is it going? <laughs> well, nothing much, which is nice for once. I used to be putting out fires at work. <laughs> But nowadays, every day has been so relaxing. I'm not tired or stressed out anymore at work. It's nice, isn't it? And I think it's a good look on you. Uh -huh. Thanks. Honestly, I could continue working like this if if I didn't have that interview coming up. Um. Oh, hey, Sam. I think you got a text huh? message. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. I checked my phone briefly to see a message is from Crystal. She must have messaged me on my laptop. I wonder what she's texting to me about. You can go ahead and text her back, don't worry. I won't snitch now that you were on your phone. Ah, <laughs> thanks. Hmm. I do want to check what Chris texted me, especially since she was acting a little weird today. But I'm at work and I was kind of speaking with Liam. Ah, uh, wait and keep talking with Liam. Oh, I don't have the other choice. Uh-uh. No, it's okay, I'll check it later. I guess you'll have to, like, spend more time with her in order to have the other choice there. Ah, alright. So, how are you? I never got a chance to ask. Uh. Me? Oh, I'm fine, I guess. Kinda sleepy. Stayed up late again last night. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't stay up all night playing video games. It's not good for your health. Uh. Well, it's not that I just play video games. I can't sleep for other reasons. Are you a werewolf? <laughs> or something along those lines? I've had that thought for the entirety of time. It's the dog thing. Huh? Other reasons? You know, what are they? Um, mm, well, sort of. Hmm. Have you talked about them? Seek medical help? <laughs> hey, a customer is coming. I should go help them. Before I could say another word though, Liam hurriedly walked off. Was he trying to get out of the conversation? Uh? Yes. Welcome in. How may I help you? You look handsome. I have an iced blonde Americano. Hey, wait. Have we met before? Oh. Huh? This Is this a subtle way of hitting on me? I mean, I'm flattered. No, no, I'm serious. I know you from somewhere. Liam Garcia. We went to high school together. You remember me? Tony from our class. Um... Oh, hey. Long time no see. Been a while, man. How are you doing? Still drawing? Uh, <laughs> fine, fine. No, but, but um, no, not really. Why not? You were the best artist in class. You even said you were going to try and become a comic artist. Oh, I really liked your work too. Aren't you posting anywhere? I would love to follow you. Mm. <laughs> I. No. Registrar. I don't know, I feel like that's the wrong way of no, writing. Register, register? I don't know though, that could be another way of spelling it. I could see Liam clench his fist behind the register. He was visibly upset and looked ready to explode at the customer. I couldn't stand by and watch any longer. <clears throat> hey Liam, could you go no, check the bag real quick for me and get some more ice? I'll go t I'll go take care of the helping the customer for you. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, <sighs> yeah, sure. I'll go do that now. <coughs> Liam quickly walks away from the register and I take his place. Hey there, what can I get for you? Oh, well, I guess I could get that ice blonde Amer Americano. Uh -huh. Sure thing, I'll have it out for you soon. So go ahead and take a seat while we wait. The customer then walks away somewhat confused. Yeah. Phew. Uh, hey. Um, hey. Uh, Thanks for doing that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. If you want, why don't you go and take your break now? By the time your break is over, that guy will probably be gone and you won't have to talk to him again. <clears throat> Thanks, I'll do that. Liam then retreats into the back and watch his figure. I want to ask what... Liam what that was all about, but I feel like right now might not be the best time. Though, I wonder when it will be the right time to ask. <laughs> Alright, I'm heading home. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh. Bye bye, Sam. 
I'll call you later about those Achome games. <laughs> uh... Liam? Huh? Ah, uh, oh, see you tomorrow, Sam. Oh, I leave the store and start walking home. My mind wondered on what happened today. Liam seemed really off. And he kept avoiding my questions. I wonder if something's going on with him, but he won't tell me. Maybe he's just stressed about something. Or something else happened. But why won't he tell me? Am I not reliable enough? I mean, it wasn't too long ago when I barely had my life together. Still, I want to be able to help him if I can as well. I don't want him to try and deal with everything on his own. I just reach my home, my phone goes off. I immediately immediately check to see who was calling me. Oh. Oh, hey Jane. You sound disappointed. Were you hoping someone else called? Like a certain freckled boy we both know? Ch Jane! <laughs> okay, I'll stop teasing. Did you just get off work? I did. I feel bad for, though for leaving Liam alone huh? now. Well, what happened to the other person who was supposed to work with him? You didn't know? They called out earlier. Liam asked me and a couple others if we could stay cover that person's shift, but I had an assignment the others couldn't either. So Liam is going to have to close by himself, which stinks because the cafe is a mess because the one huge group of teens. He didn't ask me. Maybe I wasn't working anymore when that person called. How long ago did this person call out? Maybe around two. I was still working then, which meant Liam could have asked me to stay longer if he needed. But he didn't. Jane, can you call me back later? Oh, sure. I hang up and put my phone away. Then I turn back to my apartment and start heading back towards the cafe. Uh. Uh, what is it with teens and picking up after their own trash? Hmm? Uh -huh. Sam, what are you doing yeah. here? I am upset at you. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Why am I the only one you didn't ask to help uh. you? S sorry, I didn't want to bother you with it and I don't didn't mind doing it on my own. But I mind that you're doing it on your own. Liam, don't you see how unfair yeah. this is? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, you say that I can bother you anytime if we need to talk or if I need help with something, yeah. yet you won't let me, let me do the same for you. I don't like it and I don't like that our relationship is so one-sided. I don't want to selfishly take advantage of your kindness. I want you to rely on me too, especially for times like these. Mm. Ah, jeez, I'm an idiot. Yep. It's like having the same conversation all over again, except now I'm doing the part where I lecture. Shut up. Ah, jeez, I'm an idiot. Sorry, Sam. Uh... You're right. I should have told you about this instead of hiding it from you. Mm. I just I just remember how people kept constantly asking you for help, pushing and pulling you all kinds of directions. I just didn't want to be one of those people. You're not. This is different. Because I'm not forcing myself to help you. I want to. So please, let me. Hmm. Well, I don't think I can stop you. Eh. So, how about grabbing a broom? Hmm? <laughs> sure thing. Liam and I then worked together in cleaning the store. It was a good thing I came when I did. The cafe was a mess. It would have taken Liam twice as long to complete everything if I had not come. It was also nice to have someone to chat while cleaning. Mostly what we talked about was the webcomics we were reading, new shows to watch and the annoying customers we had today. However, there was something still bothering me. Liam? Hmm? Hmm? <sighs> That customer from earlier, were you two friends in high school? Oh. Huh? Ah, uh... uh, no, not really. Just a classmate. He mentioned a, an art class. I see him visibly stiffen. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but hey, uh, I almost forgot. I finished this being a butterball so you gave me. Oh? oh, you did? What did you think of them? <laughs> they were freaking amazing, super delicious, and I don't like sweets that much, but I love them. Uh... 
That's good. I saw this in the recipe online that taught me how to make it from scratch. I basically subtracted the chocolate topping, but I'm glad it was still good. Uh -huh. Wait, you didn't just make those peanut butter bars from a box. You made them from scratch? <laughs> e uh, yeah, I did. Uh -huh. Holy cow, that's amazing, uh -huh. Sam. Honestly, those peanut butter bars were better than some places that sell them. You have a talent. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Have you been baking uh -huh. for a long time? Yeah, ever since I was a kid. It actually used to be a dream of mine to become a baker or work making sweets. <sighs> One time I tried to convince my parents to go to a culinary school or go study something that involved baking, but they were against uh -huh. it. I, I see. I really love baking, but my parents have the belief that if what I'm doing isn't going to help me land a real job, then I shouldn't waste my time on it. And despite the fact that I did almost everything they asked for, like getting good grades, going to college of their choice, and... <sighs> hey, it's okay to talk about it. I don't mind if you know, went about your parents. I can relate. Mine were kind of strict with me too, growing <sighs> up. I've lived my entire life doing what they wanted. I basically went to college and studied accounting for them because they said I should be an accountant but, and I didn't fight them too much Ugh. on it. I guess it just felt natural for me to do whatever my parents wanted since they raised me and I was so scared to disappoint them. But when I was in college and started seeing others pursue things they were passionate about or joining clubs or having parties I couldn't do since I was so focused on getting a degree I didn't even really want. I just felt that I missed out and I swallowed a feeling lump in my throat for me. I started holding it against them for making me miss out so many things in life. I honestly don't know how you held it out for so long. I would have gone insane. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm glad that someone doesn't think it's horrible of me to feel that way. <laughs> Not at all. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised you haven't murdered them. No, I guess you could all. You can also just stick them in a retirement home as a payback too. <laughs> Either way, my mother recently set them set up an interview for this job that I'm not really sure I want to do. I mean, it has some, it has a good starting salary and benefits, but it's just I'm not sure I want to be an accountant. I I don't know if I'm hesitant because I actually I don't want to do it or I just don't want to follow what my parents want tell me to do. Some part of me wonders, what if I went against them and pursued my dreams? Maybe I would do something I love instead of doing something that's just stable. Um... Well, even if you love doing it, a job is a job and in the end, doing what you love will feel like a job in the <sighs> end. I guess you're right. Well, I suppose it's true what people say. Dreams don't feed your belly. <laughs> we should finish in the up soon, though it's huh? getting late. Sam? Huh? huh? Uh, <laughs> Could you go to the back and grab the mop for uh -huh. me? Oh, sure. I'll be back then. Oh, that's... What's going on? I head to the back and to grab the mop. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave this episode here before I go on any further. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Subscribe, like, comment. Mine empty. Great, uh, I hope you have a good day. Bye!